uh, it was my hobby. I used to uh, work in TV, TV production and all that sort of stuff. And making games was kind of my hobby on the side. I used to get up in the morning and uh, do a bit of programming before work, set off for work, do a full day's sort of slog in an office and then come home and sit in front of a computer and, and do some more programming and, and bits and pieces like that. So uh, it was hard work. Um, I, you know, I didn't want to sort of, um, you know, financially, it, you know, it didn't make sense to sort of, to sort of strike out on my own and, and just be making games for my life. But uh, so basically uh, I was working as a, as a TV producer and stars aligned and I basically finished the game that I was making as my hobby um, and had a contract up and ready to work with Channel 4 to do this thing privates for them. Uh, and it also just sort of came together and I suddenly found myself in the position to just jump ship and uh, and set out and be one of those impossible people who sort of found themselves doing uh, doing their hobby as their full-time job. There's no one, there's no one thing that's influenced me. I, I grew up uh, playing a lot of uh, adventure games so a lot of point and click games so I guess they kind of influenced me most so things like Sam and Max the original Sam and Max and Day of the Tentacle Full Throttle Grim Fandango these sort of uh, very old very funny games um, I suppose yeah anything Tim Schafer did in the in the 90s was probably a big influence but it's but it's not just that it's you know it's film and it's telly as well I you know most of the stuff that I write um, I can sort of I can see these sort of comedy roots in it so uh the young ones filthy rich and cat flap all of this old rick mail all these rick mail aid edmondson sitcoms uh faulty towers all the leon herring stuff the stuff that leon herring used to do i can i can see i can look i look at my own scripts and, and can sort of see uh i can see the influences like quite clearly so yeah loads of stuff old games and old old games and old tv shows Boringly, the answer is not, uh, you know, I wouldn't advise anyone to sort of uh, jump in with both feet. I think that the, the route I took was probably quite sensible in that uh, I was working. You know, I had a, I had a full-time time job that paid my rent and bought my shoes and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and I think looking back, that was probably quite sensible that I didn't, I didn't sort of just uh, go, I'm going to make games and uh, live like a pauper, you know, just eating beans for for years and years uh i sort of slowly eked my way towards uh what i wanted to do very very slowly that's the boring answer the real answer is ah oh, just make something that you would want to play i guess you know make something that you know don't worry about what uh what, what's trendy and what's fashionable make make the game that you know you've got up here that you've always wanted to that you've always wanted to play that no one else is producing